Are you a guy who's taken estrogen blockers and lost your libido? This is the problem with some of the old school thinking on TRT, that every guy who's eating testosterone needs to suppress that estrogen too. I've treated thousands of guys for low testosterone and I've treated about a dozen of them with any sort of estrogen blocking medications. The reason why is that men need estrogen more than we realize. It's important for libido, erectile function, and a lot of the other benefits like improved cardiovascular health, better cognition and brain health. So there are signs that I look for to figure out if a guy may have high estrogen levels before I even test them. But these go far beyond man boobs and crying during savvy commercials. In reality, you gotta think of estrogen as having this kind of hill-shaped curve here. So what I'm looking for here at the extremes. If your testosterone and estrogen are too low, that's gonna look like someone who's got low libido and poor erectile function. You got both of them. If your testosterone is normal and your estrogen is high, that's gonna look like normal libido and weak erection still. What happens when you have high testosterone and artificially low estrogen? In these cases, you're gonna have issues with overstimulated brain cells because of that strong androgen signal from the testosterone, but then not enough estrogen to balance it out. You're going to have worsening of your cholesterol panel. So you're going to have lower HDL, higher LDL cholesterol, and then worsening particle counts in there too. Your ApoB is going to go up typically with that LDL cholesterol rising. Your blood pressure is going to go up. Testosterone actually will stimulate blood vessel contraction, whereas estrogen is going to improve the elasticity of vessels and things like that. So that's why there's a necessary balance there for cardiovascular health. If I'm going to use estrogen blockers, this is going to be something like Nastrozole. Most typically I'm using only 0.5 milligrams a week. Very tiny little dose. If somebody has objectively high estrogen levels and symptoms of it, if they have high numbers but no symptoms, I don't treat. If they have symptoms in an improperly managed program, I'll first optimize that program. You can do things like switching somebody from injections to a lozenge, a trochee. You can also try other medications like clomiphene or enclomiphene that will block some of those estrogen receptors to bring down the effect of whatever level that estrogen is at. 